talk back Talk back to you Say you say you like that Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing this makeup tutorial for you guys and this is the look that I'm wearing right now. Don't forget to give this one a thumb up if you do like it and of course all the products that I have used will be listed down in my description box below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel that way you'll not miss any more of my opinion. So now I'm going in with this burnt orange shade from the Yes Please Colourpop eyeshadow palette and I am just blending this above my crease area so this is basically my transition shade so I'm just going back and forth with this blending brush just to blend this out now I'm taking a much more darker shade in my crease area and this is a dark brown shade with a red undertone so I'm using this with a different blending brush just to blend in my crease area and blending these two shadows together so I'm just going back and forth with this now to smooth out the edges of that dark brown eyeshadow I am going in with this red it's not red it's more like a burgundy tone eyeshadow and i'm just blending this back and forth up in my crease area also and to define my crease area i'm taking the la girl pro concealer and this is their yellow character so it's the yellow character in the la girl pro it's not a concealer it's a character so i'm just using this just to define my crease area and i'm just taking this halfway and then i'm using my beauty blender to blend it out and on the edges of where we cut the crease i am just using the dark brown and just blending this ensuring that the edges of the concealer is not too dramatic and it's not too choppy so i am just using that dark brown shade on the outer v of the eye now on the and where that ends the dark brown shadow i am just lapping this burnt orange shimmer shade that's how i'll describe it i'm not too good with shadows please bear with me and i'm just placing that right in the middle just to have a nice transition so it's like i'm taking the gold and i'm going from the gold to the burnt orange to the dark brown so i'm using the gold on the inner tear duct part of the eye now i felt as though the eye needed some more depth the dark brown and the outer v just wasn't doing it for me so i went in with this matte black eyeshadow palette any black eyeshadow will do and I'm just applying this to the outer V of the eye and then of course I blend it out ensuring that it is not too dark and dramatic. I'm using the LA color liquid liner in black and I'm using this just to line just to make a modest wing and then of course I apply my favorite pair of false lash. Now for face I'm taking the Milani face primer and I'm just using this all over my t-zone area for my foundation I'm taking the black opal and this blending brush and this is black opal too much in nutmeg so my shade is nutmeg so I use that all over my face and then I go in with my damp beauty blender just to ensure whenever I use a brush it just lets so many streaks so I use the beauty blender just to smooth out everything now I'm taking this Maybelline concealer and this is in the shade cafe it's cafe I will leave everything that I use done in my description box below but now I'm just blending this out I love 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 to have a bright under eye especially if my eyes are super smoky I love my eyelid to be so popping now I'm going to do a bit of cream contour today and I'm taking the black opal walnut I think this is the darkest shade and I'm using this on the area that I would normally contoured so before I go in with the powder I'm just using the cream first and then blending that out with my damp beauty blender now to set the face I am going in with this LA colors loose powder and I'm just using this translucent powder just a light amount just to set the face first now guys if you do want a detail setting powder let me know if you want me to talk about the setting powder that i've been using that i've been loving if you want me to talk about the setting powder because i mean it is so good it's super inexpensive and so good now for the rest of my face i'm using the black radiance contour palette and i'm using that midi shade from the palette and this will be my my 
face powder from my all over face so this is my complexion shade so i just use this all over the rest of my face before i actually go in and choose out my cheekbone with the darkest shade so now i'm taking the darkest shade to go over the areas that i applied that dark cream contour so in the others of my cheek around my airline and this will ensure that you put back the shapes in your face and yeah your face just doesn't look flat and it doesn't look like you're wearing a mask because you put back the shapes in your face <laughs> so no to further bake my face i am going in with the same yellow color loose powder and i'm using this as my baking powder before i do my under eyes i just love 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 for that short amount of time to just apply my baking powder then after i'm through i just remove it i don't let this sit on my face for too too long but yeah so now i'm taking the this black gel liner and this one is from l'oreal it is their 171 gel liner and i am using this in my waterline and i'm also smudging this in my lower lash line so i am going in with the same shade that we used earlier to set our face and i'm just removing the excess powder so as i said once i finish my under eyes i just remove the excess powder that just prevents any fallout from my eyeshadows now i'm going in with this sorry this l'oreal pro setting spray and i'm using this to set my face and then of course I could not finish the look without using some mascara so I'm using the wet and wild mega mascara and guys this is so so good I super love it and then putting back the shapes in my face I just take a little bit of that dark powder from the black radiance palette and I'm just going on the sides of my nose and ensuring that yeah it is well structured now I'm taking my favorite highlighter at the moment I do have a review on this please to check that out in my description box below and I'm just applying this and I did not apply this with any setting spray like I did not spritz the brush and look how bomb this highlight is i am so so loving this highlighter my it's my go-to at the moment so yeah i'm just highlighting the eye points of my face my cupid's bow and the bridge part of my nose now i'm taking a dark brown lip liner and i'm filling in my lips so i'm basically outlining then i fill in my lips then i'll go in with the kylie liquid lipstick i think this one is in vixen so yeah, I use Vixen on the outside of the lip, all over rather. And then I will be going in with my Colourpop Yes Please Eyeshadow Palette, the same goal that I use for the inner tear duct of the eye. And I just use my fingers just to pat this on onto my lips. And guys, oh, I am just loving the turnout of this look. And yeah, this will actually be the tutorial guys i hope you like it don't forget to give this one a thumb up if you do like it and of course subscribe to my channel that way you won't miss any more of my uploads i've been down so long it looked like up to me they look up to me